if you want to learn how to quickly turn a negative situation into a positive, then, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Anise Kizilbash. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, what happens when something negative happens in your life? So something happens, what, ha what, what typically happens? We start binge eating negative thoughts. We start consuming them non-stop, non-stop. Imagine if you were sitting there, uh, at, you went to a buffet, and in the buffet you were dishing out uh, some greens, some, some vegetables, and then there was a pile of mouldy, uh, green mouldy rice. Would you then pick up that mouldy green rice and put it on your plate? You wouldn't, would you? And if there was another bit of mouldy food, you wouldn't put that on your plate either, would you? But yet, we do that with our thoughts all the time. We're always consuming thoughts that are unhealthy for us. And that's the biggest problem when something negative happens. We start thinking negative thoughts. Like, why does this happen to me? Why does this always happen to me? Why couldn't I do better? Why didn't I do that thing? How could they do that to me? And then you feel bad. See, now those questions, they don't, um, I'm not saying that you ignore the negative thing that's happened and you just stick a positivity plaster on top of it. No, no, no. Whatever happened, happened. How you deal with it determines whether you go down the, you know, down, down a few days of despair or you take affirmative, powerful action that moves you in a, in a different direction. And those questions like, why does it happen to me? Okay, how, how is that useful? How is that useful? Because what ends up happening, you ask that question and you start thinking of all the reasons why it happens to you. And you might think they might not be positive reasons. Or a question like, how could they do this to me? Or, you know, if someone, if you feel like you've been wronged by someone, how could they do this to me? And uh, again, what, where is that question headed? It's headed down a negative path. Now, there's nothing useful about answering that question. See, by asking yourself that question, why does it always happen to me? Why do they have to be like that? By asking yourself that question, what are you making yourself do? Let's just take a, an example. If I asked you, what's your favorite color? You might already have a favorite, or you might sift through a couple, right? Your brain is being directed to do something. Yeah, that's what your brain. Or if I ask you, how did you find my videos? Where did you find them? You'll cast back into your memory and you'll trace back and you'll back, look back at what you did, right? It's causing you to look back and sift through uh, and to re-rehearse -re what you've already done. Re-rehearsing what you've already done will only reinforce it in the future. It's not going to make you come up with a new idea. So that's, you know, that's how your brain works. You ask it a question and it steers in that direction and it starts gathering data from your, from your brain and, and your past and so on, from your knowledge base, whatever it is, to start coming up with, with the answers to that specific question, which is why asking those questions are disempowering because it just causes you to go down this negative track, right? So the trick is the questions you ask yourself steers your focus. It's literally you are taking control when you ask a question. Are you going to go that way or are you going to go that way? You have a choice. So how you quickly turn negatives into positive is the difference between going that way or clicking the indicator and going that way. So next time you make a mistake or suffer a massive setback, the question you ask yourself determines how you feel and determines and directs what you do. So instead of going down the ditch of despair, take a detour to the highway of, of happiness and abundance. And you do that by asking a different question. Have a series of questions ready for you to ask yourself those. So here are five strengthening questions you can ask yourself when you're in a sticky situation, you've had a setback, or something negative has happened. First question, what's good about this situation? What's good about the situation? Instead of thinking about what's bad, you're looking at what's good and what opportunities are presented to you. Two, what blessing is being presented here? What blessing is being presented here? That's when things are really sticky and quite, uh, maybe quite a bit sad, then, okay, what, what's happened has happened. Uh, if I look at what's blessing is here for me, it's something to feel better about on the inside. It's not putting a fake sticker on it, you're actually searching for what is good, for what is genuinely good. And three, what lesson is being presented to me here? 
what lesson is being presented to you. When you make a mistake, what lesson is being presented? That's a, that's a good one to ask in those situations. Instead of saying, oh no, how can I be so stupid? What lesson is there for me here? Four, how can I use the situation to achieve my goal? How can I use the situation to achieve my goal, achieve my objective, to achieve a better outcome? That could be a, a scenario where you feel wronged by someone, you feel wronged by a client or a prospect, they've come back to you and maybe offered you less or whatever it might be. When you ask it, instead of getting angry about them you know, doing you over, ask yourself, how can I use this to achieve my objective? You'll come up with a better answer and a, and a solution. And the fifth one, what's the next best step for me right now? What is the next best step for me right now? That's when you're in a real bind, a real sticky situation, you feel completely lost. What you want to do is look minute, look small. What's the next best step? Uh, because it's just that step, that little momentum, it helps, it helps get, give you a feeling of progress and with progress there's this feeling, you, you have a better feeling, okay? That's how you can quickly turn negative situations into positive situations. Instead of asking weak questions, ask strengthening questions. And hopefully these five questions will help you, uh, steer you, dick a detour, away from the ditch of despair to the highway of happiness and, uh, and the direction you want to go in. Okay, thanks for tuning in. I'm Anise Kizzelbash, helping you awaken your potential. If you found this useful, please share it with someone, okay? Or two or three, yeah? And uh, I'll see you in the next video, okay? Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Bye.